So it's your boy Downsize and I'm back once again on my block with another hood classic. This one right here is is a reaction to a video I watched this morning by uh, on American Cholo's channel, uh, Don't Feed the Bear, titled Don't Feed the Bear. I'm dealing with homelessness and drug addicts within the homeless population uh, is what the podcast was about. Um, and it's something that the homie pointed out who was homeless and everything else about the homeless population is that 99% of them are drug addicts. That's a reality that must, must be faced with them. And, and the risk that they pose to themselves and to society um, is only growing in intensity because with what's happening here in the zone, I was told uh, 14 murders already this year in a couple blocks, literally a couple blocks. Like that, it, it, that's that second is so small. It's 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 literally as big as these apartments next door, if not smaller area, far smaller area. And 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 fourteen murders thus far, plus baby burn, several other people burned, shooting, stabbings. It's just and that's not counting the overdose deaths in there. So what do we do about it, right? This is, this is what must be asked. So what do you do, Daniel? What do we do about this? I've since proposed uh, a, a simple solution, a pilot program here because of uh, St. Luke's Hospital uh, and the gentrification that that area is going through. Like St. Luke's Hospital has, I don't know how many rooms and how much bed space is available in there. And it's a hospital. It's a, it's a huge hospital with all the, the amenities necessary for to recover anyone right it's a hospital so what i say is this and this is the controversial part about what i'm going to say is is getting them off the streets how do we propose getting them off the streets i said we got to round them up um because i mean you can have a voluntary program i mean initially you would do it voluntary but at some point, you 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 have to get them you have to get them off of the streets one way or another. You have to get them into facilities, and 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 we're going to have to deal with the constitutionality of doing of such extreme measures. But um, because you know, when you got the level of violence that's increasing as it is amongst that population uh, here, then there's a need for for background checks to be ran on these dudes. And, you know, there is a serious need for these people to be printed and triaged. You know what I mean? And because there's no telling what type of violent offenders are running loose on these streets in these homeless encampments uh, with warrants. You know, I'm going to, you know, children are at risk. I'll just put it that way. Great risk. And, you know, there are other other factors here in this city, in the Valley of the Sun, where, you know, we have a drug problem. We lead the nation in drug and in, 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 uh, in drugs here, um, kidnappings here, sex trafficking here, cop involved shootings here. You know, we have a whole host of problems here that we need to address. You know what I mean? And, um, you know, like I said, this is just one solution to a very big problem. You know what I mean? But we have to do something about it because, you know, from what I hear, 14 murders this far already in, in, in the zone. It's only a couple blocks, dude. Very small blocks. It's a very short, small place. And for, for that level of violence to be concentrated in that area, it's the hottest zone, arguably in the, in the, in the United States. But like I said, we have these problems and we must address them. It's all on us, man. If we want any hope for the future, then we have to see it for ourselves. We have to realize that it's us who's doing that to ourselves. It's no one doing it to us. It ain't our government. It ain't no one else. A government's not selling drugs to our people, dude. All right, all right, that's not what's happening, dude. Stop with them excuses, and people need to man up and face responsibility for themselves. But shout out to American Cholo and the homie on there that uh, for that video. Um, don't feed the bear. It's an excellent video. I encourage you to go check it out. And I'm gonna drop more on this subject. I'm actually gonna get down to these encampments more and do more, more footage there. So, you know, just so you know. Peace.